make another weekend roundup and how do we find ourselves after last weekend's games? Uh, similar story to last week, actually. Um, unfortunately, only two wins out of six, but a lot of positives to take um, and a couple of very tough fixtures in there. So all in all, a lot of things to take forward into next week. Um, could have been better, of course, but yeah, not, not all doom and gloom, definitely. And yourself playing in the ones, uh, obviously we talked about it last week, being at, at Bath and, and, a, and a big game, a big sort of statement game. Fair result, would you say, in terms of affecting the game? Yeah, I think so. At the end, they they deserve to to win um, simply because I think, I always think like they didn't win it. I think we lost it. Um, we kept them to under 240, which is very good. Um, we were really happy with our first half performance, particularly the first, 40 overs of, of bowling at them. Um, and yeah, if, if you want to do well in a league, you've, you've got to chase scores of under 240 um, at a ground like that where the wicket doesn't really change. So it was disappointing in terms of how we, we performed in the second half with the bat. Um, however, having said that, they're national champions um, from last year. We were well on top for large parts of the game. Um, you know, this year they've hit a score of 440 against Clevedon. So, you know, there are lots of positives to take from it. Just a shame that no one really fired with the bat. Um, plenty of people had starts and got into the 20s. Uh, just, yeah, missing that that one one gritty or, or two gritty performances um, to really build around. And that's the difference, really. And is there anything in particular that the teams are, are working on? Uh, in the week to try and notch up a few more wins? Um, I think it is generally with the bat, we need to apply ourselves more. Um, it's it's difficult. I mean, batting, you get you get one chance and that's it. That's your, your day done. Um, if, if you don't play the right shot or or you get beaten by a genuine good ball. Um, but yeah, our bowling, I think, is, is looking pretty good across the board. It's just that batting. And what's nice is that we've been winning all teams have been winning games um, and we've I've, I've said each week or oh, only one or two people have, have fired with the bat so you know it's just waiting for it to click and then suddenly those wins will become a lot a lot more frequent but also a, a lot easier to get um, so yeah just just a case of applying ourselves and I think with batting as well it's the, the mental side of the game is huge um, you've always got more time than you than you think um, and just taking those few extra rules to set yourself before you you change up a gear is, is crucial, I think. Charlie, coming off the back of a big game on Saturday uh, and a good individual performance with bat and ball in that game for you. Yeah, it was a nice one. Um, it's always good to get wickets and hit a couple of slogs at the end. Um, a shame it was on the losing end of it. We, the game could have won, really, but yeah, nice to get a few wickets. And was the scorecard a fair reflection of the game, or do you think it was a bit more balanced than that? I think it's pretty fair. I mean, we know we didn't feel well. We dropped two catches. Uh, we misfielded quite a few, a few bad throws. Um, with the bat, we weren't good enough again. You know, no one pushed on. We know how good we are with the bat, like we were away at Clevedon. Um, we got a few starts, and we were really good at Clevedon, but it's a simple case of consistency for us at the moment with the bat. And how about you yourself? Good start to the season, feeling good with the ball in your hand and getting a bat when you get a chance to? Yeah, yeah, feeling really good with the ball, actually. Um, after the first game of pre-season against Cage, when we bowled 10 wide, it's nice to um, <laughs> realise how to bowl, hold the ball again, which is nice. Um, but yeah, yeah, feel really good with the season so far. And playing with your brother week in, week out, still that sibling competitive rivalry. Yeah, um, it's always something that drives you forward, I suppose. Um, much as we might um, have a little beef on a Saturday, it's nice when you get a bowl stay, course stay in the book. So, yeah. Ollie, I think we find you on the golf course for this chat. How's the golf going, first of all? Yeah, it could be going a bit better. Not not bad the last few holes, though. A couple of pars, although it is only a yacht and kennel pitch and putt. So. <laughs> and uh, so 50 on Saturday, was it ever in doubt? No, mate. Walked out. It was, an, it was an absolute road. You know, bowling was pretty kind, so. Yeah, all good. And what about the game itself? Disappointing to, to lose it? 
yeah, um, I think we just let it get away from us a little bit. The first 10 wasn't too great. Uh, you know, we let the openers get away with a few sort of loose balls and then sort of the last five or six overs as well. Some guy came out and slapped it about a bit and I think that, that kind of took the game away from us there. And how about you with the season? How's the season been going for you individually, personally? Yeah, not too bad. I've only actually played two league games because I um, had to miss two for uh, for other reasons. Um, but uh, yeah, I was happy with the way the uh, the ball was coming out on um, on Saturday. Um, yeah, the usual, just you know, you can't really go wrong off a couple of paces, can you? <laughs> Less variables to go wrong, definitely. Okay, mate. We'll have a good one at the weekend, and good luck with the rest of the golf. Yeah, cheers, mate. Salma must be feeling good after the weekend with the 70 to your name. Yeah, it doesn't feel too bad, actually. It was quite a nice day out. Uh, it was a good game of cricket, to be honest. Um, it was never one-sided, so at times we were on top and at times uh, Khan was on top. So, no, it felt good. It felt good to be um, victorious in the end as well. So, uh, yeah, no, it feels good. Good. And coming in at seven, scoring 70 at seven, did you come in at, at quite a tricky position? Yeah, it was quite interesting, actually, because um, when I came in, I think we were 60 for six, or oh, sorry, 60 for five, I think, um, 18 overs down. And usually I bat at six or seven, um, and I go in towards the end of our innings. Um, so my role is basically just going in and hitting shots. So this was quite a, quite a different situation where I had to bat a bit sensibly. Um, it helped that Greg was on the other side. Always a pleasure to bat with Greg. And he kept reminding me to um, be a bit sensible because <laughs> uh, initially I played a bit, um, I played some risky shots and then he, then he walked over to me and he was like, what are you doing? Um, you know, we don't have a lot of batters. <laughs> so just be a bit sensible. Uh, so no, I, had, I had to change how I play a bit because um, I, I don't normally bat before the 30, 30th over. Um, so it was a good experience though. I was quite pleased. Um, the way I played, you know, some defensive shots. And then occasionally uh, when I got a chance, I, I hit some shots as well. So, yeah, no, uh, interesting all round, to be honest. And, and glad we um, we got a decent total in the end. And with the ball as well, going for just nine runs from your five overs. Must be pleased with yeah. that. Yeah, that wasn't too bad, actually. Um, yeah, I, I came on as first change. Um, and and uh, one of their batters were, was nicely set up as well. He was hitting good shots, um, but no, the pitch was doing quite a bit, to be honest. So I was just trying to bowl in the right areas, uh, trying to pitch it up. Um, and uh, yeah, it seemed like uh, the batters didn't want to hit shots, which was always good, which is always good. So yeah. And, and enjoying your time at the club this season? Yeah, it's been quite good, actually. Um, uh, the weather has been kind to us so far, so it, it's always nice to play games out in the sun um, and I think we've we've played some really good games we've, we've only lost one um, which was also quite a close game in the end we, we lost by four runs um, and as of now we're top of the top of the table so quite a good position to be in uh, obviously it's a long season so hopefully we can carry on this momentum. Satish a great individual performance on Saturday for you taking four wickets you must be really pleased with that. Yes, I am. Yeah, it, it was a good game and uh, which really helps me to uh, bowl in a good length balls. Yeah, and I think uh, it's a good game to play last weekend. And, and you returning to cricket now? You've, you've been away from cricket for a while and, and enjoying being back playing? That's true, absolutely. Uh, it's been more than 80 years uh, I stopped playing. There was an instant back then. So uh, I had to decide whether to play or not to play. So I took a gap uh, after that, came back. I, I went for some training sessions, see how I'm doing and hopefully uh, turns out well and I'm, I'm doing uh, good with the team. Uh, it's a great team, the one I played now. Yeah. Brilliant. Great, great to hear and, and feeling really welcomed at the club and obviously get, getting on well with the team on Saturday. Yes, it's uh, absolutely, it's a team, team effort. Everyone batting, bowling, fielding, uh, every every department done really well. Like uh, every every everyone has a team 
collectively did win the uh, match for us like uh, it's a must win or kind of a thing like uh, everyone brilliantly performed on, on field it's like a collectively uh, we, we, we make it this possible so must be feeling must be feeling positive and looking forward to the rest of the season then absolutely yes yeah we, great you know, yeah, all the games yeah all the games uh, we we as a team uh, uh, done well like uh, yeah, like i said before yes So looking ahead, Jake, to the Jubilee Bank Holiday weekend and another six bumper games on Saturday. Yeah, going to be a big weekend. Um, hopefully there'll be a, a bigger than normal crowd at the club as well um, with the celebrations going on. Um, one's uh, hosting Bridgewater, which is going to be a tough game, um, depending on who they have in from Somerset and Gloss. So, yeah, some, some potentially four or five um professionals on show as well which is always good and like we've talked throughout all of this momentum's key so getting some wins under the belt and suddenly things look a, a lot different yeah definitely i mean the ones won four four games all, all season last year we've already won two um we're two from four and the two that we've lost we've all said mm, we probably should have got over the line um so when you put it like that things are looking really really good um as i said it's just that things just aren't quite clicking but it's it's so close um it has clicked against uh Cleves in a couple of weeks ago and the twos have had a, a really good win as well so when we've won we've won emphatically it's just a case of you know being less all or nothing in in our performances just those sort of 80 percent performances will, will win you a lot of games of cricket it doesn't have to be a hundred percent all the time yeah, and you mentioned it there about the celebrations at the sports club. So we've got three games at home, the first, the fourth, and the sixth, and the sports club themselves doing their own Jubilee celebration. So hopefully a fair few people down watching, which which always helps. Yeah, definitely. Um the, the home crowd is is a good is a good one to have actually. Um that the win against Taunton St Andrews when it was quite close at the end the other week, the uh the crowd at the end definitely came into play. Um so yeah, if they can be our 12th man this week, that would be fantastic.